brilliant chance to get people in, but they're quite up close and personal. And well, I think it's things like this that change attitudes. We've already shown in London, we've shown in Dublin, we've had a, a number of shows, but we can pop up anywhere. We're in Distillery Court, which is a courtyard with a number of businesses in it. Uh, the Malt House is owned by Duff Tisdall. We're exhibiting a mixture of items that are recycled and things that have been kind of taken from one use into a new use by the process of design. The past number of years I've been doing bespoke pieces, most, mostly working in solid timber to commission. In this show I decided to just branch away from that and I'm showing some more simple work utilising birch ply. And the, the main aim of most of my work is to kind of do something that's a bit fun, that if you look at it and you're having a bad day, it can kind of brighten you up and lift your spirits and be a little bit different. Our work does have that kind of a tactile aspect to it and, and we kind of, we try to incorporate that into it as much as possible. Most of my stuff starts with sketches of kind of human forms and I kind of try and give the pieces personality so you can kind of connect with them a bit more. I suppose the imagined side of this exhibition is, is designing things from first principles. Um, however, I focused on the reimagined thing which is basically the trying to use things that are around us. We have a chandelier, which is made out of wine bottles. We have a, a stool, which is made out of a boat fender. And we also have a, a coffee table, which is made out of uh, sash window weights. Yeah, my designs are often based on geometry. I like shapes, I work with shapes. And I come up with one idea, one angle, and one shape. And I'd like to take it further through different stages and different pieces of furniture. Well, the two of us both went to college together, grew up together, and then set up Locker 13 about a year ago. And the idea is to try and stand out, do something different, and we also have a kind of philosophy of trying to get stuff made in Ireland, using makers here. We've done a lot of upholstery, a lot of uh, a lot of casting and aluminium, so the work would feature work would feature a lot of leather, as well as carving shapes in aluminium and carving shapes, obviously in timber. Like the detailing in it and the craftsmanship is, is very much derived from traditional saddle making or or shoe making or belt making, any of the any of the old industries. Irish design has a it has its roots in in, in really fine crafts. Mm. But there's a kind of a new generation of people, you know, producing really contemporary stuff. So we try to add a little like a little quirk to something that's a little bit funny about it. I don't know if that's essentially Irish, but like that's our kind of approach. There's sort of a positive and a bit of a splashy colour, you know, and make people smile. I think it's really important to get involved with groups as much as possible. I think Shane Holland and Anthony Duff have done a fantastic job of getting this group together, the Cream of Irish Design. And it makes it easier to kind of um, promote yourself when you're part of a group and to have a bigger voice and to be part of something bigger that's going on and to kind of uh, have a bigger impact, especially abroad. There's a great energy in a group like this. And it's, it's nice to be able to see such a variety of, of design and craftsmanship in one exhibition. The exhibition for me now is the, is the best display you know, of the talent that we've, you know, that we've shown so far. It, it's all got a purpose. While being beautiful, it's, it's very function orientated and it's, it's pushing the boundaries of each designer's knowledge within a, their preferred materials. There needs to be more dialogue between different designers, you know, they talk about ideas and talk about new opportunities for the show. It's important that the design community try and organise events amongst themselves and generate some interest in, in Irish made mm. products. We're constantly bombarded from images and styles from, from everywhere really, so I think it's great to try and take from that and apply it in our own context. It does come from Ireland and it's produced in Ireland and I'm proud that it is. I believe there's an influence, whether it's the landscape or whether it's just things around us, the, you know, the beauty of the country and the coastline or whatever it is that make you think slightly different to other people. So I can't put an exact finger on what makes it Irish, but I know that some of the elements of it don't remind me of any other country.